Mom? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, animated movie production studio Leica celebrating 15 years, of course, local. Our local Leica team. And there yeah. are going to be screenings of a, all its Oscar-nominated films at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. And those include movies like Coraline, Paranorman, Missing Link, Kubo and the Two Strings, The Box Trolls. The, it's a long list. Yeah, so many fun films. If you're looking for some place to go that is inside this weekend, this is the perfect rainy day activity. Those screenings continuing this weekend, happening through the end of the month. And there's going to be some Q&As along with key members of the filmmaking team mm -hmm. as well. Lots of opportunity to dive into all things Leica at OMSI. And we're going to dive into all things Leica this morning. Uh, the head of production, Ariane Sutner, joining us. Good morning. Morning. Hi. So great Thanks to have you. us. Yeah, so great to have you with us. I know I'm I'm really excited. I'm going to be hosting these Q and A's this weekend out at OMSI. So I hope people will come join us for a look at some of these incredible films. Um, tell us about the screenings that we're having happen this weekend. Um, let's see. I think this evening you've got um, you know Chris Butler who is wrote and was a co-director and I was the producer of Paranorman. But I mean he is a delight um, and just. A, a treasure trove of information and inspiration and he can talk you through anything and everything to do with Paranorman um, and of course Missing Link where he he wrote and directed that as well and um, it's a you know if I do say so it's a terrific movie for this period of time um, both just a, a fantastic movie and a fun you know, zombie movie for kids, kind of perfect for Halloween. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, perfect uh, spooky season film for a Friday night, a rainy October night. And then uh, Missing know. Link going to be screened Sunday afternoon, which is obviously a super fun film, especially for all of us here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, you know, who we love our Bigfoot around yes, here. Yes, we sure do. We <laughs> sure do. He's the best, most lovable. Um, he's, uh, he's Bigfoot you're ever going to encounter. I think that's a really fun local movie as well. It spans the globe, but like you said, it's got its, you know, heart right here in the Pacific Northwest. Agreed, yeah, very, agreed. very much so. I mean, it's, it's incredible that it's it's already been 15 years for, for Leica Studios. Uh, I, before I even ask you about what, what you feel like, you you know, your, your studios have done for animated movies, just does it feel like it's been 15 <laughs> years? Oh, gosh. You know, it's, I, God, it's kind of like having kids, you know, it's like, it takes forever. It feels like so much hard work and love and energy and, you know, just time has gone into it, but also it's gone by in a flash. I can't believe I'm almost, you know, we're almost 10 years past, a uh, decade past Paranorman because yeah. it also just feels like it's, it's coming on in a second. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, it's wild, but, but in that decade, I mean, you've managed to innovate so much. I mean, so for anyone who's unfamiliar, let's first just kind of explain stop motion animation, like a studio's methods of putting these films together, and then just okay. the ways in which you have really pioneered this method of filmmaking. I think we really have been part of the driving force of this kind of renaissance of stop motion, which we love. It's um, our goal, I think Travis and Knight's goal was to bring uh, stop motion into the 21st century. And I think we've done that. Um, and we do it the old fashioned way. And also, as you're saying, in innovative ways as well. So we're still shooting one frame, um, a film at a time with an object like a beautiful puppet and moving it across, um, you know, bringing it to life. We bring and make and design everything here in the studio. And um, we put them on this vast uh, array of sound stages, although we're shooting without sound. Um, and it's with real lights and real camera. So you have like age old core of what we do. And then we have a CG side, which I think you're looking at a clip right now where they touch every, um, you know, every frame of the film as, as well, helping us to kind of expand our wor worlds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just, it, uh, it's just all incredible. The, the, I mean, it <laughs> seems, I don't know, if, I don't want to say tedious. That sounds like it's a negative, but it's, it's a hard, it's a hard process. Labor I mean, of love, for yeah. Sure. I, I mean, how, how long does it take to, to it is hard. Let's time? face it, Travis. Yeah. Well, it's hard. Um, and it's kind of like live action slowed down to this glacial pace, but it's also, you, you know, so it's slow moving. It can take up to five years to produce this. It can take almost two years just for the shooting part of it. But every day is a hustle like live action. So you're kind of working really urgently um, and you're yet you're only getting, a, you know, a small amount of footage 
um, very small amount of footage per week, but yeah. that footage is just lovingly attended to. Every frame, honestly speaking, is just a work of art for us and everybody there um, is passionate about what they do and they put all of their heart and soul and their energy and their uh, innovative energies into the work. It is, they really are magical films to watch. Okay, I know you're gonna be out there uh, next weekend. We've got some some of our guys this weekend that I'm gonna sit down and talk with. Um, I'm just curious real quickly, how does it feel to be able to sit down and connect in a theater like this with some of your biggest fans? Oh, oh my God, Emily, it's, it. I mean, it's kind of moving to me after this period of time we've been through. Um, I'm proud of our movies, we all are, they endure, they look as, magical and as beautiful and as sophisticated as they did when they first came out they don't you know they age gracefully and um to be able to do that with a you know our local community and share it with friends and families and and share what we do with them and kids and people who are interested i mean i i want to say it's the best feeling in the world but i think it is the best feeling in the world professionally we're excited we love to share what we do um with people and you know i love omsi we love omsi i think that's a portland treasure as well and it's kind of the perfect venue to really be able to connect with people pull back the curtain on what we do and and have people see have a chance to see these gorgeous movies um these meaningful movies in the in a beautiful film environment you know together Absolutely. The way movies are supposed to be shown. <laughs> or right, ideally, right. ideally yeah. are shown. I mean, yes, the, the, the fun way to really get to sit down and enjoy them and go to that other world. Ariana, it's so great to talk with you this morning. Looking forward to this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys so much. Of happy course. Halloween. Yeah, happy, yeah, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And you can, uh, you can find more about uh, all of Leica Studios projects on their uh, website and on all their social media. And then, of course, the exhibit running now through the end of October at OMSI. You can actually go and see some of the puppets in person that they used for these films. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there are special tickets for those uh, Q&As and film screenings. If you want to check it out, it's on OMSI's website. It's just all so fascinating, the yeah. detail and the work and the process. And I mean, to take five years to turn out one movie, it's, it is. it's really it's really impressive. It's I've, really cool. I could talk about that for a while. Oh, I know. I've been re-watching a couple of the films that we're going to be talking about this weekend yeah. as I kind of get ready to, to chat with the filmmakers and looking at it from the lens of like every little detail. Mm -hmm. 24 frames a second. They're yes. shooting 24 different pictures every second it's, of film. It blows your mind. Yes. It really it, does. It really does. It really, really yeah. does.